Hey, oh, Noctis here. Uh, playing Shadowman Returns. I just just entered a new area. That's all that changed from the last episode. Uh, anyways, the Union. Getting justice for Sam is going to take more effort than it originally appeared. You didn't anticipate his pillar, his killer being protected by a cult filled with giant unkillable bugs, but she is. And if you're gonna get a, get to her. You gotta need to find a way around or through those bugs. After a taste of the belonging that the Universal Brotherhood offered, the sordid surroundings of the Seamstresses Union feel more like home than ever. This should be good. Right. That's what the terror bomb. Cherry Bomb is swamped with customers, but when she catches a glimpse of you, she gets up on her tiptoes to talk to you over their heads. Hey there, Grendel. What's going on? We need to talk about Shane. Not good, Cherry. Just tell it to me straight, Grendel. I'm a Baron's girl. Shane's dead. I can't tell you anything else right now. It's too dangerous, but I thought you should know. My god, Shane. She looks at her customers and down to the bar top for a long moment before finally composing herself. Thanks for letting me know. Maybe we'll talk later. She continues processing the information, then she remembers something. Oh hey, Johnny Clean asked me to flag you down the minute I saw you. He said he got someone who wants to talk to you. He sounds a little freaked out about it. He's waiting for you downstairs. Uh, did you say who it was? Uh, I can't remember. It may sound like royalty. You know someone called the Duke or something like that? The Baron? Maybe, yeah, gotta go. Maybe these people drunk. Okay, good to know, I guess. Coyote. What the hell was that back there, man? Just what the fuck was that? Universal Brotherhood is all about belonging. To a hive or something. And Sam's sister is their leader. If I didn't see it, there's no way I'd believe it. Giant, unkillable bugs. <sighs> Fine, whatever. I want that woman dead now more than ever. If you go after her again, you think of me, okay? I'll be around. Locked and loaded. Will do. Okay, later. Uh. Other questions. What's your story? It's the usual classic story for the ages. Hometown boy does good, joins an elite squad, then boom. Boom is a technical, technical term for an explosion. Got blown up, got hurt real bad, and now I have these shiny legs. I do it all again. Obviously, I tried to miss the bomb. Now I'm here, running the best damn elite merc unit out there. Alright, what's the story behind the Nephilim network? You need to know, Chummer, and you don't need to know. Alright, I just get involved in the seamstress. Oh, you know how it is. There's a girl, and a gun, and a back against the wall. You might send me in this place. We were made for each other. I can tell you more than that, am I? Cool. Alright, Johnson. Where's <laughs> milk run? Never a milk run. Extraction. Sada. So Sada is currently engaged with. Ah, uh, fuck. Lenraku. It doesn't sit well with people I represent. They see it as a subversion of the free market. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's not good. You, fuck. 9,000 Union? Uh, I'll think about it. Fuck. I'll come if I change my mind. Holy shit. Uh. <laughs> hobby. Yo, guy, we met. You look familiar. There's a lot of people. No problem. Get some brain benders tonight. And listen to that merc stuff. Freakers. Taxi drivers, you know. Can I, uh, trust you? Nobody's more trusted than old Bobby. Kabuta wouldn't let me in the place if I was legit. Fair enough. That's what you got. 
Just call me in Nitro. Yeah. Let's see what Chloe's got to say. You alright, Grindel? Have a better days. I heard you were in trouble with the Universal Brotherhood. Ah, uh, start up a hornet's nest, you might say. People are starting to say there's some dark dirt going down in those chapter houses. Like they're taking advantage of the poor folk who go there looking for help. I say they make my blood boil. It's bad enough that the government labels half the population as probationary citizens. You don't need more people preying on the most defenseless members of society. And I hate to bring race into it, but there's a fact that there's a good number of people who go into the Brotherhood for help are metas like me. What options do we have? You realize what that it would take an act of Congress to grant me full citizenship? And they have yet to do it once. Wars are started more easily than a med against a sin in this country. There's no wonder why we turn to people like the Brotherhood who kind of listen to our woes and speak on our behalf. <sighs> Sorry. I know some folks who went to the Brotherhood for these very reasons. I might have ended up there myself if Miss Kubota hadn't taken me in. Whatever's going on in there, I trust you'll put an end to it one way or another. I have one very specific way in mind. Go get him, sir. Alright, let's go talk to the Baron. Castle. For once, Dr. Castle is not utterly absorbed in her work. In fact, she seems to have set aside whatever she's doing to give you her full attention. Perhaps we're to spread about what you've already faced and what is still to come. I'm glad to see you're alright, Grendel. I was afraid they'd be carting you back to me in pieces. I don't suppose it would do me any good as just an early retirement, or at the very least, that you might delay whatever is coming long enough for you to get a decent night's sleep and a full meal. No one should die tired and hungry, is that it? You shouldn't have to die at all. That's something you still have control over. <laughs> but who am I kidding? I know your type all too well. Words of caution have little worth, and the words of prohibition only make you more eager to throw yourself into the fire. You're like children that way. So fun. Do what you will. Just let just tell me what I can do to keep you alive that much longer. So, what have you heard, Doc? Well, let's review. In the past days, I've lost one patient and nearly lost a second. I've also learned that a man claiming to be a fellow doctor was responsible for the first of those deaths. And now we hear that another, supposed force for good, has been committing heinous acts on innocent men and women. Quite frankly, it's almost enough to make a woman give up on the whole human race. But then I remember why I don't. I remember how many innocent lives Ms. Kubota has saved by giving them place and purpose here at the Union. I remember seemingly useless wastes of flesh like Paco, risking their lives to save the ones they love. I remember that some people are still willing to stand up to those who would seek to, to do harm to others. And that's the real reason you won't hear me argue against your chosen course of action. Because I agree that it must be done. I only hope it can be done without any more innocents coming to harm. That's the plan, Doc. I appreciate the lie. I'd like to wake up to a world short one less evil. Nice. <laughs> Let's see what Dave's gonna say. Hey, that what's up? No, uh, good. I thought you might want to say something. All right, Johnny. <laughs> uh, Johnny is hunched over his desk, idly fiddling with a cyber deck. He seems preoccupied. He looks up when you approach, eyes narrowed, then making new friends out there. Ah, uh, could be. He's just rescued a teenage elf girl from evil cultists. I'm not sure I want to know, but that's not what I'm talking about. Someone's been asking about you on Shadowlands, called himself Baron Semeti. He has a pretty distinctive icon, skull face with a top hat. I can't tell what he wants, but the guy seems pretty serious. I would ignore this if I were you. Deckers have a way of making people's lives miserable if they are so inclined. What do you know about him? Uh, Johnny's gender persona is gone, replaced by something colder, more dangerous. I did some checking, didn't get much because he's new on the scene. He's no Wilson though. Got a rep as a direct hot wire boy from what I hear. 
Never rides along with physical entry teams, though. Purely remote work. Samedi, like the voodoo spirit? Yeah, that's the one. He sits at the crossroads of living and the dead. Why do you think he chose that? Why do you think he chose that avatar? I've been running around a long time, and I've seen a lot of avatars running around the tricks. A lot of them. You ask me? It's just some guy trying to look scary to make a name for himself. I think of it as personal branding. How long has he been looking for me? He's been spamming Shadowlands for the last hour, I'd say. He's doing on the scene, but everybody's talking about it. Even the hottest deckers like Dodger are saying he's a force we reckon with. Guess he's not the patient type. Something I should know? Could be. That's all you have to talk about him. I talk to him. It's Shadowlands. That's for the shadow community goes to talk about anything. He's shadowy. Who's planning what projects, who's hiring, what corp is screwing, which... Anything that affects Shadowrunners and how they make money. So I go to see if I can pick up any dirt about you. Know anything about giant magic indestructible bugs? Ah, oh, fuck me. Clicked the wrong one. Uh, talk about some other? Okay. You let me know when you're ready, and I'll let you hit your ride to the Matrix again. I've already set a portal to Shadowlands. And how does this ride along work, exact, work again exactly? Blah, blah, blah. Let's know when I'm ready. That's the thing what you said. Fuck me! God damn it, missed the fucking. Son of a bitch. Cool, let's do this now then. Parents to Melee. Bonsoir, mon ami! I am pleased that we can have a semi private conversation. You must be careful with tour guides like your friend Johnny, though. You cannot trust everyone you meet in the Matrix. Everyone in Shadowlands knows you're looking for me. Why the spam? Somebody wishes to thank you for saving Mary Louise from the Universal Brotherhood. The girl is quite precious. If harm were to come to her, she does not know what he should do. He also offers you his help. The insects you encounter, they are something, you know? Something dark. To ignore them would be folly. There is much at stake. Somebody knows you are after this woman, Jessica Watts. For your own reasons, he can help you get to this woman and defeat her bugs. And why should I trust you? Because our goals are aligned. The job will not be simple, nor will it be straightforward, but somebody can guarantee it will be dangerous. At Celestrian Industries, er, bleh. <laughs> Celestrian Industries has been working for two years on a formula, codenamed Aegis. They are working with another corporation, a foreign corporation, to refine it. This is their third attempt to get it right, they believe they have. Manufacturing began several months ago. Unfortunately, their manufacturing plant in the Columbia Valley was recently blown up. It could have been corporate espionage, or it could have been something else. This is unknown. What is known is that a large sample of the formula survived. What does that do with Jessica and the Eos Brotherhood? We want Aegis because it kills bugs. Big ones. Like the ones you met at Universal Brotherhood. If you want to go back there and bring the Watts woman to justice, you will need Aegis. And, as it happens, Samedi knows where the last sample of Aegis is being kept. Hence, the job at hand. We are going to break into the Lestrian Industries, primary operations office complex here in Seattle. Aegis will be somewhere within that building. We will find the Aegis sample and liberate it for ourselves. <laughs> And how do you know all about all of the yeah, blah blah blah? How do you know about this Aegis? Because Samedi has personal connections into James Telestrian's affairs. You see, he knows. So, will you do this thing? Will you ally with Baron Samedi? Might as well be me. Aha, Bon! Bet on somebody applauds you. We do this job for the right truth. Eh? Whoa! Shit, nice. 8,000 new yen, fuck. Somebody must suggest you bring a more experienced deck with you. In case your skills are not up to the challenge. Forgive the Baron, he needs no, no disrespect. But this mission, it must succeed. What about you? You're not coming with? Somebody will be part of this evening's events. But must remain remote. He will keep all of Seattle law enforcement and off duty Celestrian security away while you locate information we need from the inside. And how do I get inside? 
Ah, uh, the Baron will handle that as well. The last three guards will be rerouted throughout the building. With the right timing, no one will even know you are there. But of course, even Baron Sumethi cannot anticipate our possibilities. So tonight, you must use your contacts to hire a team and travel to the Celestrian office complex downtown. You will be contacted again when you have gained entrance. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Celestrian Industries, you've hit the big time, Jim. If you need a second decker, you might as well take one of the best. That means you're right. No, I'm not an inside man anymore. My running days are over. There's enough who owes me a favor. He goes by Dodger. You may have heard him. He's one of the best deckers in Seattle, and this is me, Zeta. I'll get you his contact information. You'll know him by the way he talks. He's like a damn Charles Dickens novel. <laughs> Alright, Delilah. She's probably stuck up on some meds. Spirits too, I'm thinking about. Hey, ever hear a bug spirit or bug shaman Algernon? I'm sorry, I find the very thought repugnant. You must understand, a shaman does not know, does not follow the literal incarnation of his totem. One who pledges himself to cat does not drink milk from a saucer or claw the drapes. Instead, a shaman follows the ideals of his totem. Dog gives us a canine and more symbol of loyalty. Coyote is less a scavenger, more a trickster. So you understand why I find the idea of an insect totem so foreign. To what quality would a shaman aspire in such case? Please, let us speak of more pleasant things. Perhaps, commerce? Fun. Fun, 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 fun. Put together the team. Coyote. Dodger. Decker. Ranged. Adept. And.
Uh, I'm gonna end this episode here, since it's already a good, yeah, good length, and this is probably gonna take forever. So, yeah. That being said, see ya.